Hello everybody, Forgotten here again, and today I'll be giving you guys an Iron Fist guide because I haven't really seen one of those up on the internet, so I wanted to give you guys my take on the style. Anyways, if I told you that you have been using Iron Fist wrong, would you believe me? Because I don't think you would, and I'm going to demonstrate why. This guy is also an Iron Fist, but this is, this is a perfect way to explain to you guys why they're doing everything wrong. Generally, the first mistake that people make with Iron Fist is they constantly rely on the M2s and M2s alone, but the thing is, look at that M1 damage. That M1 has the most beautiful damage ever that I've ever seen, right? You see, that's how you got how they got how you gotta play that stuff. So my first tip for Iron Fist would be to use your M1s as well because most people don't do that. This guy is probably gonna rely on his M2s only. You gotta use your M1s, get their guard low, do some damage, and then Damn, you pop son. that M2 in, right? If you pop your M2s in constantly without actually, you know, doing anything else and no M1 damage, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna take too much self damage. And your opponent it will only need to take like do a couple of hits on you in order to completely even out the match so in, in order to prevent this what you need to do is kind of find a balance between m1s and m2s so your m2s can be also used as counter if you're really good at countering in this game you, you can use your m2s a lot because the m2s with counter damage do so much that it makes taking self damage worth it Boom, see there we go, that's the counter I'm talking about. It does so much damage. Tip number two for Iron Fist is don't kind of get too carried away into rushing because if you constantly just kind of run into your opponent, it's an aggressive style, right? Be in their face, but don't constantly spam attacks at them because it's gonna become so obvious and so predictable what you're gonna do like this guy right here. Tip number three is an Iron Fist, don't always go for the same patterns. It's very easy to get carried away in using your M2s or using your M1s at the same way, but just like with every style, you kind of need to switch it up once in a while. I don't know why my hits are not landing and why his are, but as you can see, Iron Fist clearly has a very large hitbox and it's working pretty well. So right here, you can kind of see the difference that I'm talking about in health already. Because like this kind of the second round, I didn't take that much damage. He's already all the way on the floor and I've only thrown in a couple of M2s. So what you can really see here is the strategy working pretty well against them. Boom. See, he did not expect that. Tip number three or four, or like three or four on Iron Fist would be definitely kind of don't run into your opponent she have great dashing abilities with iron fish just dodge literally just just dodge like that it's not that deep but yeah you use that see a very good a very good very good use those to your advantage as you please boom and that's that Okay, peeps, I'm about to try and drop the most important fact about Iron Fist, and it's very simple, actually. Guys, your ultimate, do not use it in the in the second round. You will be tempted to use your ultimate in the second round, but I guarantee that is not a good idea. Using your ult in the second round is never a good idea. Don't do that. Boom. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I kind of threw a bit too much M2s at the start there, so my health is already kind of critically low, getting to the to the critical lows, but that doesn't really... Ooh, nice counter there. Boom. Just like that. Simple and straightforward. Just kind of stand there and pause between your hits. Oh, hit him. Then just kind of pause and see what he does. Chances are he's going to dash right into your M2. All right, let me try to show you guys how to properly play this off. If you're lo if you're this low in health, your priority should be trying to stay alive to some extent, so don't, don't spam M2s and just kill yourself. Instantly. Those M1s, remember bro, those M1s are insane in terms of damage. As you can see, damage upon damage. Now you're kind of going for the M2. I don't know if they will nerf the, the damage you take from doing hits. But if they don't, ooh. Yeah, it's not that bad. When you do a counter, it's not that bad. See, perfect example of how to play right there. L literally, f this is a flawless uh, game pl gameplay right here. Boom, flawless, flawless. We're, we're low on the health, we killed ourselves, but at least we got him down. In, in perspective, if you put that in perspective, we didn't take that much damage. We only took about 15% of our health bar. So in return, we got him down, which is pretty convenient. I think he's just gonna, oh, he just quit on me. As you can see, that those are the results of your training. You guys, hopefully that demonstrates uh, for you guys how to use Hyrule Fist better. If you have any other style questions or any other style you want me to review and give you a guide on, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like video, goodbye.